What's going on, Pisces? It's your girl, D with 8th House Energy here to bring you a weekly read. Um, it's going to be dated for the 15th through the 21st, but just keep in mind that time is fluid outside of this 3D realm, meaning that whenever you watch this video is and it resonates is when you're supposed to see it, and that's when it's supposed to resonate. Um, if it does not resonate with you, check your other uh, placements and watch the videos for those. Um, or I do post weekly, so check, you know, check the last three videos from the last past three weeks to see if you see any patterns. Um, or you can just wait till this week, this coming week, or you can check out another reader, whatever you prefer. Um, the energies can resonate um, either way, okay? So if this is not happening to you, then you're doing it. Um, if you're not doing it, then it's happening to you, okay? One or the other, just take it how it resonates, you guys who watch videos um, long enough to know that this is a general read. And if you're not the one who's doing it, then you're not the one who's doing it. You're the one who's receiving it. <laughs> all right, Pisces, let's see what we got for you guys here. You know, I do love you guys and I appreciate all the support that you show to the channel. Thank you so much. And if you need a personal read, my information is in the box below. Pisces, we have the lover's energy coming out for you. That's the uh, current situation at hand here. Lover's energy, this is Gemini. Uh, this could represent a partnership. Uh, it could also represent a, there. there's a choice that you will have to make. Um, it could re it could be a choice between two lovers, uh, but it could be a choice between something else. Because if we're not talking about love, we're talking about a choice of any kind. All right, with this Gemini energy here. Now, this could also talk about a partnership or a deep love, okay, business partnership, um, a choice, um, you know, a choice or the strength of two together, okay? So, let's see what the challenge is in reference to this energy. All right, so we have the page of cups in reverse. So... Someone here um, may want a partnership or may have to make a choice between uh, more than one person, but the challenge is the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is meaning that there are no messages of love coming in, so perhaps um, this is a situation where someone is not in love with someone. Um, maybe someone wants someone to make a choice or to choose them, but the challenge is, is that there's no love here, okay? Let's see what the universe or your higher self, your spirit guides or your ancestors, whoever you go to, you know, in times of of um, a support, of course, outside this 3D realm. Let's see what messages they want you to keep in mind in reference to this reading. Okay, here's the Ace of Cups. So we know that this is definitely about love here. This could be a family relationship, okay, a brother and sister. This could also be lovers, okay, or any other family member. Um, but here we have the Ace of Cups here. So perhaps um, you have a choice between um, a situation where there is no love versus where there is love. So maybe there's a situation going on where you're comfortable with someone, but the comfortability involved does not include love. We'll pull the rest of the cards and see. Uh, but let's see where your head is at in the meantime here. So we have the Five of Cups, okay? A lot of emotion here, all all uh, love cards, all right? So this is where your head is at right now. So with the Five of Cups, you are at a loss right now. You are in reference to um, some type of situation where it was either a love relationship or a partnership or um, a friendship um, where you are mourning the loss of this relationship. OK, so the challenge is, is that there's no love. And, you know, what's on your mind right now is that there there's a loss of love. So there's two cards indicating that there is a loss of emotion here in the situation that's involving a choice in love. So let's see what the outcome is here for you, Pisces. We have the nine of wands in reverse. This is um, Sagittarius energy. This could be someone who. Um. You know, this could be someone who is guarded, okay? Um, usually this is someone who puts up boundaries here. So I'm saying that maybe with the Nine of Wands in reverse, this could represent someone who um, maybe wants to put down their guard, okay? Or maybe was caught off guard, 
buy something. Or maybe they weren't able to defend themselves or they're not able to fight the feeling or the emotion that they have here. Maybe they feel that they're defenseless in this situation. That could very well be true because someone is mourning here. So maybe they feel that there's nothing that they can do, okay, in reference to this love situation, being as though the challenge is that, the, that this person doesn't love you or you don't love them. Um, but let's see what the overall energy is, and then we're going to clarify these cards. So we have the seven of wands in reverse. So this is somebody who's not standing up for something, someone who's not fighting for something. And this is similar to me with the nine of wands in reverse, with the seven of wands here in reverse as well. So this is someone who um, is not being guarded, someone who could be um, open. Maybe they want to uh, communicate because this could be that someone's blocked, okay, as far as communication. Um, but this is someone who is maybe unblocking that communication and wanting to communicate. Maybe somebody wasn't communicating because they were in, they were in mourning, okay, of the fact that, you know, or maybe a relationship had to come to an end or maybe there was a choice that was made and they were not chosen. That could very well be, okay? But it looks as though here there is no more fight in this relationship. There, You know, um, someone has decided that they're not going to stand for it anymore, that they're not going to fight for it anymore. That's what I'm getting here. All right, so let's clarify these cards and get a little bit more information in reference to what you guys are experiencing here. So let's clarify this lover's energy and see what that's all about. All right, so. Why is the Gemini energy here for the lovers? Clarify the lovers. Okay, we have the seven of wands in reverse showing up again. Okay, the overall energy was the seven of wands in reverse here. Okay, and again, um, with the seven of wands in reverse, this is talking to me about um, someone who has weak boundaries. They're quitting. They're no longer going to fight for something. Okay, we also have the queen of swords in reverse. Now, with the queen of swords in reverse, this could be that someone is not fighting for something anymore because they don't see things clearly. With the queen of swords in reverse, she can be someone who... Um, she can be very cold and rigid and dishonest, so someone could be lying. Um, this could be someone who's very unkind. Maybe this is the way you were treated in this situation. This person that you were dealing with, Pisces, um, could have had two people. And, um, you know, the way that you found out about it was an unfortunate situation. This person could have been lying to you about it and not being honest. This uh, Queen of Swords in Reverse Energy could also be about internally, because Queen's um, if they're not representing a person, they're representing your emotions and your feelings, like your moon sign, okay? Your moon sign represents your feelings, your emotions. It represents what happened, how do you respond when something happens to you, okay? So when this situation happened to you in reference to this particular choice in love or choice to stay with this person, you could have been in a mind state where you were not being honest with yourself about this, all right? Maybe you were fighting for something that you just... Um, were should not have been fighting for okay now this could be you pisces or the person who's dealing with pisces again these energies are general so take the energy as it resonates and put yourself in a position if it resonates where you fit for others of you with this gemini energy we have the three of pentacles okay that's capricorn energy and we have the tower in reverse okay this is major arcana pluto energy all right so this energy here i'm sorry this is not pluto this is the tower this is mars energy OK, um, Scorpio energy also Scorpio and Aries. Um, but this is a tower situation, a tower moment um, came about. So this was a realization. Maybe you were trying to work on this situation with the three of pentacles and um, you realized you may have realized that you shouldn't work on it anymore. You may have realized that, you know, it's a hopeful situation. That's what that tower card could represent. The three of pentacles means that you were trying to work on this. You were putting work into it, which makes sense because we have the seven of wands in reverse saying that you're going to give up on this because you realize that maybe you weren't, you know, you were fighting for something that really wasn't there. You might have been in denial about it. 
So for others of you with this uh, Gemini energy, we have the Four of Wands in reverse. That's Aries energy. So more Aries energy, more action. And then we have the um, Six of Swords energy. All right, so this is someone literally moving. These cards, both of these cards, the Four of Wands in reverse and the Six of Swords represent someone moving action. Action physically moving with the Four of Wands in reverse and with the Six of Swords. This is someone who is um, moving away also, but also mentally. So this is someone not only moving away mentally, but moving away physically. So someone just deciding to make a choice to leave. Okay. So this is what the uh, lover's energy represents. Okay. Now we're going to talk about this, this uh, page of cups energy in reverse. All right. This is the challenge. The challenge is, is that there is no message of love here. Okay. Or there is no child. Okay. No pregnancy. Let's see. So we have the, t the moon card in reverse. This is Piscean energy. Okay. We also have the seven of swords in reverse. All right. So what's going on here is what I'm getting here with the moon card, Piscean energy and the seven of swords, which is Gemini energy in reverse. This is both cards in reverse. This is telling me that, um, someone maybe had download someone, something was revealed to this person. Something was revealed to you that this person, um, hmm, it, this person could have been caught being deceitful, okay, with the moon card in reverse and the seven of swords. That's what I'm getting strongly. This person was caught red-handed, which is why maybe we had this tower moment here and you came to the realization that you were fighting for something that wasn't there and you decided to move on. Okay, this could also represent the fact that someone um, was caught and they want to apologize, that could be the case, but I don't see anything else indicating that there may be an apology except for this um, outcome at the end, which is the nine of wands in reverse. This could represent someone who was not speaking to someone and then they're coming out of isolation to speak to someone. But otherwise, I'm getting strongly that this is just someone who got caught out there. All right. This could have been your intuition, you know, telling you this with the moon in reverse here, or there just could have been some things that were physically seen that indicated to you that you're fighting a losing battle here. For others of you with this page of cups in reverse, this uh, we have the five of one, I'm sorry, five of pentacles in reverse. Okay, that's Taurus energy. And we also have the four of cups. Okay, that's um, Cancerian energy. So with the five of uh, pentacles in reverse, this represents maybe someone um, who might have been well, might, might not have been well, they're getting better now. And with the four of cups here, they're feeling unfulfilled. This could represent also that someone wants to come back, but somebody's feeling, um, the other person is feeling unfulfilled and may not want them to come back. So this, again, could res indicate that someone wants to come back to someone, but there's somebody who's feeling like they have to make a choice and they're not feeling fulfilled about the choice because they really don't feel like this person loves them. All right, with the seven of swords in reverse, there could have been some deceitful behavior along with the queen of swords in reverse. So there could have been a lot of lies, okay, and deceitful behavior here. Let's see what else we got for this queen, this um, page of cups in reverse. Again, that's the challenge. So we have the justice card in reverse, major arcana, that's Libra energy. So someone was not treated fairly, okay, so that's what it was. All right, and then we have the nine of cups energy. This is Piscean energy. So, yeah, somebody was not treated fairly in this relationship with the justice card in reverse, okay? Either someone was dishonest, and we know that because we got some swords in reverse here. Um, someone was just treated unfairly. Um, there could be some legal issues going on as well, okay, with the swords energy here, all right? But this is the reason that this is a challenge. It's because for some of you, you know, there's no, you don't have any love for this person. The Gemini energy represents you making a choice, deciding on if you want this person back or not, because it appears this person came back to you. Um, but with the challenge here being the page of cups in reverse here, you realize that you're not in love with this person or this person, what they're showing you is not real love. And that's not the type of love you want. All right. Because they were treating you unfairly. Um, and, um, you know, with the nine of cups reverse here, you know, you feel like you're happy single, you know, it's like the way they treated you. It's just like, I would, I would be better off single with the nine of cups. Now the energy here with the ace of cups. Okay. This represents new love possibly, or you wanting new love, letting this situation go and wanting new love, or it could represent that someone is coming back to you 
wanting to give you new love. But this, excuse me, but this card also represents what your spirit guides, your higher self, your guardian angels, your ancestors, what they want you to keep in mind in this situation. So let's clarify this Ace of Cups. We have that clarified with the Ten of Cups. Okay, this is Piscean energy. We also have the Queen of Wands in reverse. So with this energy here, um, this is um, the Queen of Wands is Aries energy, but I'm showing that with this person, um, they wanted a relationship, but instead, you know, they got treated terribly. So as a result of them being treated terribly, or they were treated like maybe a sex object, or it was just sex with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, and the universe is saying to you, okay, you want a relationship or do you want to be just treated, you know, as a sex object, you know, where there may be more than one person and it's not a real love connection. All right, let's see what else we got for this Ace of Cups. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. This is um, Sagittarian energy. Okay, this is letting go of something. And we also have the Hermit energy, Major Arcana. Virgo energy. So this is someone who's going within to get some insight, you know, on how you truly feel and what really happened and what's going on and what you want in life. So you let that situation go because you realize it wasn't love. And then you isolated yourself also because the hermit isolates itself, goes off and goes in for, in, you know, for insight. What else do we have for this ace of cups? All right. So we also have the high priestess in reverse, Piscean energy. Major Arcana. We also have the Eight of um, Eight of Swords energy. Okay, this is um, Gemini energy as well. So I'm getting here that um, with the High Priestess in Reverse, um, it's like you're you're realizing that you've been looking at the situation with rose-colored glasses on for some of you. You know, you realize that you do want love, but in this situation, it's just not going to happen. Now, the the where your head is at is the Five of Cups energy. So you're feeling unfulfilled at this time. So let's clarify that. We have the Queen of Cups reverse. This is um, Cancerian energy. And we have the uh, Page of, or the Knave of Wands. So yeah, it's like you're feeling... Um, you know, that this person has taken advantage of you emotionally. And with this page of wands energy, this person may be calling you or only calling you because they just want intimacy. All right. The page of wands is a message of, you know, or maybe you want something new. Pages are messages, but the wands are messages of passion. Okay. So maybe this person, I'm getting strongly that this is just, this person has has worn out their limit with you in reference to emotion. Um, you're unfulfilled. You've done everything you could in reference to this relationship to offer this person the love and the affection and the support that you would normally if you wanted a true love relationship. However, it's like this person only contacts you when they want intimacy. For others of you with this four five of cups energy, we have the... Um, Oh, I don't like him. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse energy. This is someone who's just very mean, very cruel, does things deliberately to hurt others, um, usually hurt people, hurt people. So this is a situation where you could be very well dealing with someone who's hurt, all right, from a past or whatever happened to them. And so as a result, they don't have the capacity to love you in the manner in which you deserve. And as a matter of fact, they're being deceitful. They lie to you, okay? And this is what I'm showing. And I'm showing that for some reason they're doing this intentionally. Yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles here. Yeah, they're purposely stringing you along with the Knight of Pentacles here. This person knows that you want a relationship. They know that you want something serious. But they're taking their time offering it to you, okay, is what I'm getting here with these knights. And this is not fulfilling for you. This is not what you want, okay? So, you know, you, this is why you're feeling unloved. Because with the Five of Cups, that's about feeling unloved. And then also we have the Judgment in Reverse, Major Arcana here. This is Pluto Energy. So this could be someone making a wrong decision. Uh, we also have the Knave or the Page of Cups. Yeah, someone made the wrong decision in reference to love. Okay? You may have chosen the wrong person. Um, maybe there were some indicators that this person wasn't right. 
and you went ahead with the choice anyway, and it was later confirmed through their actions that, yeah, they're not here for that. They're not here for the love. They're just hurt people. They're not, they don't have a capacity to love anymore. <clears throat> you know, I don't know if this is some, this was someone from your past with the lover's energy here. But let's see what the nine of wands in reverse is. Because again, this is someone who might be feeling defensive. This could also be someone who is not been contacting anyone or not been speaking to anyone coming out of isolation to talk. So we have the five of wands energy here. This is Leo energy. Okay, so this could be a lot of drama, arguing, aggravation. This could be a lot of competition. But in reference to, oh, we also have the devil card in reverse here, which is Capricorn energy. So yeah, this is someone who um, let go of all the fighting and the arguing. And the, it's like the devil energy represents fear, could very well be fear. This is maybe someone who was afraid to let go of this situation and they were in their head about it a lot. All right. So um, that's what I'm getting for some of you. For others of you, we have the star card, Major Arcana, Aquarius energy. Um, so someone is healing now, recognizing that you know, they are the most important thing, focusing on their health. Yeah, and we have the lover's card in reverse. Um, so we got the lover's card showing up twice in this reading. So yeah, you're choosing yourself. You know, you're choosing yourself. You're choosing to heal. Um, this could also represent that someone is choosing someone else. Okay? Um, but take that how that resonates for you. And then we have another set of cards here for the uh, nine of wands in reverse. We have the here we go with the Five of Cups showing up again in this reading. Is the Five of Cups see here someone is in lost mourning because this person here chose this person. She was originally with him, but then she chose him, okay? So now he is in mourning and loss. So for some of you, like I said with the lovers here, there were some choices. Um, there was some deceitful hate behavior, some lies, okay? So there could have very well been other people. And then we also have the Eight of Wands energy here. So it's like you're feeling unfulfilled, you're in mourning, um, but you're getting messages. And I'm thinking you're getting messages from this person trying to contact you, okay? But it's like you made a decision here. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to see the time. It's like you made a decision here that, you know, this is not what you want. This is not the relationship that you want. Let me just see what we got under here. Yeah, so... Yeah, you, um, you're not fighting for this anymore. And then, you know, this person comes in to apologize, um, stating that they want to start over. But you've already, you know, you already fell in out. You've already fallen out of love with this person with the death card energy here. And you realize that there's not going to be there's no connection here. All right. And with this chariot energy, you've moved on. OK, so, yeah, with the um, seven of wands energy here, this is you not no longer fighting for the relationship. And this is someone coming in to apologize with the Knight of Cups energy. And then we have the death card here in reverse. This is you over the situation. You've changed. The situation has changed you. The relationship has totally transformed. And as a result, there's no love here anymore. And so there's not going to be a stable, solid connection. And you've decided with the chariot energy that you're just going to move forward. Okay, so that's what I'm getting for a lot of you here. All right, so let's take a look and see what advice that um, we have for you. Let's see what spirits messages for you. What do we have for my Pisces? Ooh, okay, I popped out. It says, wait, the timing is not quite right. So in reference to love, um, you know, this situation right now may not be um, one that you want to put energy and effort into right now. OK, especially with this person. Um, and I think you've come to that conclusion, but it's like you, you do need some time to heal with the star card here. So maybe this is why, you know, starting a relationship or getting back into an old relationship may not be best for you right now. The timing just may be off because of, of healing that needs to go on. That's just for some of you. Let's see what other messages we have here. Pisces. Oh, we have acceptance and we have spiritual lesson. Okay, so acceptance for some of you, you have to accept that things happen for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. You know, unfortunately, you're in loss, you're in mourning. But I think that this is happening because the universe is protecting you. Okay, there may be something better coming for you in the future. All right. And with the spiritual lesson here, this person that you're connecting with, there's a very intense connection and there's a major choice here because this is somebody that you um, 
were meant to be with like karmics teach you lessons. So this was a karmic relationship here. And there was a lesson that you needed to learn here in reference to love and loving yourself. All right. So these are the messages that I have for you, Pisces. So please let me know if this resonated by clicking like. If you know someone who resonated with this message, feel free to share it with them. Um, if you like, if you guys want to comment on how the video resonates with you or it resonates with the person you were dealing with, please leave a comment. Otherwise, please avoid the comment section um, because that's what it's for. Um, if I see anything that is confrontational or rude or disrespectful in any way to anybody in the chat, including to this channel... Um, I'm going to delete your um, comments. All right. But I love you guys and I appreciate all your support. And I do um, wish you well and I'll see you next week.